Every year in the U.S., 1,400 babies die from sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS. John Cahan lost his son to SIDS and felt compelled to do something to help other families. Cahan harnessed the data-crunching power of his employer, Microsoft, and the expertise of researchers at Seattle Children's Research Institute to provide some life-saving information. John Cahan travels the world photographing wildlife to raise money for SIDS research. Aaron Matthew was born in October of 2003, and shortly after he was born, he stopped breathing. Aaron died a few days later. His death haunts his parents. But actually, as I've gotten older, it's become more real to me um, that uh, this is something that's unacceptable and it's something that we need to change. A new dad and Microsoft colleague suggested data science might help researchers gain new insight to causes. In order for some of these projects to work, you need expertise in both sides. You need data scientists, but you, more important, you need doctors that understand what the data is saying. They focused on records of 20 million births and about 19,000 unexplained infant deaths from the CDC. The findings from the data analysis were extremely specific. We found that just smoking a single cigarette a day during pregnancy doubles your risk of sudden unexpected infant death. Researchers also learned that smoking within three months of conceiving, even if moms quit in the first trimester, increases SIDS risk by 50%. And if no mom smoked during pregnancy, 800 infant deaths could be prevented every year. I'm more optimistic than I've ever been before. We're actually making progress. Um, uh, to be able to solve this, to be able to understand it, and be able to prevent it in the future. He says that's the miracle of Aaron. The Microsoft and Seattle Children's team say the first study explains 22% of SIDS deaths. They're working on several more papers that take the same granular look at other causes of SIDS. Someday, Dr. Anderson hopes moms will be able to get genetically screened for risk factors before birth so those can be addressed after the baby is born.